So we went to the Auto Mercado. And we Mercado. Auto Mercado. So we went there and we called an Uber. And when I got in the car, when we left out the complex, the guy made a left. Okay. And so then he was like, he asked me where we were going. Now, first, when we got in the car, I asked him, I'm lying, Glace. And he was like, no. And so I was like, okay. But anyway, so we, we're on the road. And Wait, are you talking we, about the second guy? No, oh. the first guy. Oh. And my bad, my bad. so I turned, I mean, he turned to make a left. We're driving a little bit. And he's like, where are you going? And so I told him. And so he goes, ah, and he pulls over. And he said that he had to turn around. And I didn't quite understand why he had to turn around if the thing on the map was telling him where to go. So I pull out my phone so that I can make sure I put in the right address, whatever. And my phone wasn't loading. So it still showed him as being a minute away when we were here. And needless to say, I realized that I didn't have any more colonists on my phone. What? Already? That's what I don't understand. So I have to figure out what is going on with my phone because when my when I'm here, it's automatically on the Wi-Fi. So there's no reason for it to be using it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So obviously I can't maneuver through Waze, Google Maps, or even my Uber app because I don't have Wi-Fi in his car. So Kaya is trying to pull up the auto Mercado so we can make sure auto Mercado so that we can make sure we're going to the right place, whatever, whatever. I don't know what kind of map. I, okay, I don't know. It was, okay, it was Apple Maps, and you can't do directions on that. So, so I, I, I didn't realize that. And I was like, I don't have the ways. I, I didn't realize maps, that. So. so thankfully, Kalia does have it. I have and Colonus, so, and I got the ways app. I mean, and so Colonus, she was, yeah. yeah, Kaya had Colonus too, but it just it's just that she didn't have the right map. Right. So anyway, we work it out, and the dude gets there, but... We were just trying to make it to the Auto Mercado so that we could make it back home because he was driving like a bat out of hell. I mean, like literally, there's cars right here, and he's like, Dude, man, I mean, whoo, I thought a side swipe was about to happen. Yes, I thought that was gonna happen multiple times actually. Because he was like driving interesting. Muy rápido. So we go to the store, we get what we need. It's 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 very frustrating to be out and about and not really know how to speak fluently. Um, and I really think that sometimes some people, when they realize that you don't speak Spanish, it's just like they shut down. And I guess being on the other side of this is very frustrating because in the States, I'm sure that there were interactions with people and you know, when you realize that they don't know how to speak, you know, you kind of get like, well, you know, whatever. So I guess now this is just teaching grace for all people in all situations, which is a wonderful thing. Um, but when you're trying to walk it out and have an interaction, it's a little frustrating. So we'll bypass all the extra in the store to get into the car again. Well, the lady was talking to me at the store. Right, and I don't understand. The cashier on her, on her ring up, starting a career. And I mean, it's like she didn't even give me the opportunity to interact with her, even though I was trying. And the thing was, when we first got up there, she asked paper or plastic, but she said what she said very quickly. So I asked her to repeat it. And so she looked at me and she was like, paper or plastic. I'm like, okay, well, since she can ask me uh, about plastic bag then she must be able to speak English well no it was after she like after she said plastic bag she couldn't speak any more English but also that assumption we we're always making those assumptions like okay so um no they make those we make those assumptions 
um, if she could say this, then she could probably do more English. But right. they're also like, if we say a little bit of Spanish, well, they could probably speak Spanish. Right. And then they just go in on us. Facts. <laughs> Facts. But if, if, if you can just slow down, then we can work together. But it's like, they don't be wanting to slow down sometimes. You talking slow to me. Well, maybe because you look 12. Maybe she felt like I was grown and I should have been. I don't know. that. I'm, this whole thing is an assumption because we don't know why she was she was preferring to talk to you versus me, especially when I was trying. Yeah. And the only thing that I asked of her was that she repeat what she said because I didn't catch it the first time. So we get in the car with the new guy so that we can come on back. And we get on the, the main road to come here and he turns, he, he makes a left instead of keeping straight. And I was like, mm, I was like, you supposed to keep going. And um, he was like, no. And then he points at the, his, um, the map on his phone, GPS. And I'm like, um, okay. Thinking maybe he know a back way. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know these Costa Rican streets. I don't know the Costa Rican streets. And being that the map did, he was going the way that was on the map. See? I'm like, okay, well, maybe there's another way. Because, you know, the traffic is on the map. Anyway. What did you put in as the destination? This. Yeah. Yeah, because okay, I, I was just wondering, you put it in, but then when you put it in again, it would be to the right place, so. I was just trying to figure out what the mishap was. I'm not yeah. sure. I was I don't because know. I had I had pulled it up while we were in the in the boondocks in the back. That um and it took me right there. Yeah, but I then mean, I did it was literally it right like right behind this wall. I did. I was looking at the tree on the other side of this wall. I did it again, and then it took it gave a. Uh, the right direction, right? So, but so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. But anyway, so we're driving through this unknown place with all these speed bumps, and he feel. And you know how they like to go all like this up, the cross over the speed bump. They go over so the speed bump like one, one wheel tire at, at a time. time. They just like they. But turn they and turn they and, and just. Oh. So I'm like, okay, well, where are we going? And I can literally see the condominiums on the other side. I can see like we're right here. But obviously that wasn't right. And then when he gets to the spot, he's like, okay. And we like, uh, we like, no, no, this isn't it. And then, and so and then he was like, he was like, finished, finished. No, yeah, not yet. He didn't get to that part yet. The, then I told him Villa del Lago. And so he, and then I update, he asked me to update the ride. And I did using just Villa del Lago. And so it updated. But instead of him going through the Uber app, he went through Waze. And whatever happened, ways had him going, and we ended up at a school. And so when he got there, I guess he was frustrated with the app because he said stupid ways, um, <laughs> but he don't speak no English. Um, he he said stupid ways, and then he was like, said, "Finish, stupid. right? Finish." And he he finished the ride. And when he said that, I'm we, like, I was like, I was like, I thought he was telling her. Like, like, what? Like, I was thinking that he was saying this ride is over because I can't get where I need to go and, and this ride is finished. So he swiped it and finished it like, and he, he was turning to... around yep. and I'm like, oh gosh, he's about to stop this car. Is he about to leave with our groceries? He's like, what is about to south? happen? Oh my God, he kept doing his hair right here. Yeah, like, like, my mom, was like, like he was so frustrated yeah. and finished. You're finished. Yeah. No English, but finish. Yes. Stupid way. And I was like, mm. what are we supposed to do? And I mean, even though I realized that we were across the wall, literally from That's the, the complex, that would have been a hike with the bags. It would have been to have to walk all the way around to come. So he was not saying finish, meaning finish. Y'all better get out my car. He was saying finish, meaning I'm not gonna charge, charge you mm -hmm. anymore for the ride and so he kept going and obviously we ended up where we needed to be um and he was you know okay and we was like you know muchas gracias <laughs> but it's just the language barrier is 
it's, it's frustrating. It is, it is very, very frustrating. And even though you try and you want to try and you want to speak, it's just frustrating knowing one, that you are not where you want to be and, and you're not getting grace. And I was about to throw up in the back seat. Yeah, all that. You know, we on the roller coaster every time we get in the car. I don't know why. I was fine. That's good. That's because I think that had you gotten it on that bus ride when we was coming back from the mall that time, I think that it would have messed with your equilibrium a little bit. But it didn't, you didn't but get the ride, it. But the ride to the mall that we took on the bus that one time, I was feeling very nauseous and I couldn't even put my seat back. I felt like my chin was in my boobs, so. Or. Hmm. It's solo. That's just all this. We out.